Hi, my name is Cameron Carlos from the Anime and Location TV. I'm here at Colossal Con 2017 with my lovely pal, Miss Taylor Davis. How you doing? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> it's so wonderful to meet you again. And, and going into that, so it's been a year since the last time we got the chance to talk to you. How have you been since then? Great, yeah, lots well, been going on, but um, glad to be back here. <laughs> this is awesome being back for a second year in a row, so I hope to be back next year too. <laughs> All righty, and now you seem to have enjoyed your time here at ColossalCon last year. What made you want to come back for a second year? I really love doing um, these types of performances, like the anime conventions or anything like this, just because um, I've done the longer tours where I'm like gone for a month at a time, and those are cool too, but this is kind of the best of both worlds because I can get to call it's not like a month long commitment. I get, still get to like meet fans and perform and everything, so I really love doing these types of events, probably the most. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to have you come back. I really, really was. So uh, recently, you redid the Yuri on Ice opening theme song. How did that go, and how was the fan response to it? Uh, it was great. Like I, I had a lot of requests for it, and then I wanted to watch the anime first, and I loved it. I thought it was so great. <laughs> it's like one of my favorites, so um, I was really excited to do a cover for it. And yeah, the fan response was great. I think it's like, you know, a really cool community of people. Like gets into that show and you know I think it's awesome <laughs> you know it's fun it actually has a Northeast Ohio connection to it actually really? uh, Damon Mills who was here last year as a guest is the uh, Russian coach to Josh Greeley and all that a new album coming out and, uh, and a sheet music book how, how has that project been going for you uh, working all that out uh, the sheet music book is done and that was like a collaboration with the publisher Hal Leonard because so many people have asked me over the years about sheet music and it's a matter of copyright and so thankfully working with that publisher I was able to get the copyright for it and so I'm very excited because it's a lot of my most popular ones that I was hoping you know that would be fan favorites and everything so that's out um, and it's available through my website and I also sell them like when I do performances and then the new album is going to be an album of Disney covers so I'm very excited about that because I mean, who didn't love Disney music growing up? And, um, you know, I've done a ton of the game and anime and things that I like. Um, I still want to keep doing singles and maybe another full album of that type of music, too. But I'm really excited to do something a little different. And I hope that everyone will enjoy that one. <laughs> Hopefully the House of Mouse will let you get the sheet music. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know about sheet music, but thankfully the audio is a lot easier to license. So. <laughs> All righty. So uh, after you were here at Colossal Con last year, you went on tour again around the world in the fall. How was that? And again, what were your favorite places to visit? Ooh. Um, so the, the tour was really fun. Um, like I said before, it's like a month long thing. So it's it's just a very different lifestyle. Like I'm such a hermit normally. Like I'm just like, you know, Netflix, gaming, things like that. So like all of us. But yes, exactly. And so it's like a lot for me. Like it's kind of tough because you go from that lifestyle to all of a sudden you're around people 24 seven. And, you know, there's some great things about it. But um, I don't know that I'll continue doing those types of tours in the future where I'm gone for that long at a time, you know, but the experience of like meeting fans and just like performing and everything and seeing the reaction like that, that is amazing as always. And I feel so blessed that I get to do that and that I had the chance to go and do that. And um, as far as favorite places to visit, that is so tough because like each of the countries, um, we really didn't get to spend a lot of time. Like the schedule this last fall was like pretty brutal, but um, we had an awesome time. I mean, France has always been like super, super amazing for me and Germany was really great this last time too. <laughs> Nice, nice. I've never been across sea, so that's awesome. So you like to cosplay in most of your music videos, which is really awesome. Uh, what would you say was one of the hardest to get into and make, or for makeup for a particular piece? Like, what would you say was one of those hard ones to do? Um, well, so I don't make the costumes, uh, okay. so no, I cannot take credit for that. Um, I've like pieced together things before that like I've purchased online and then I'll like make something out of it. But as far as like sewing or any of that like craft type stuff, like I leave that to the professionals. So I'll either borrow from like a talented cosplayer and then I'll put their name and link to their website in the video description and um, or I'll just kind of like find things on like eBay or Etsy, those types of sites too. Because yeah, that is not where my talents lie. <laughs> Well, I mean, what was like one of the hardest ones to get into? Like, I mean, you've got some elaborate ones. Yeah, physically. Oh, physically. Okay. Well, um, 
The Witcher. I did a Witcher 3 medley and there was just like a leather corset involved and we were driving, like I rented the car so I was like driving a minivan in that. <laughs> it just probably looked so ridiculous but that was kind of tough um, just because it was a lot going on, a lot of accessories and the Sword Art Online costume too, like the zipper broke on that one so like during filming so we were having to like do all these things to try and make it look like it wasn't broken in the back but hopefully it, it turned out alright, hopefully no one noticed. <laughs> Actually, one of the most one of your music videos that actually gets passed around on the internet actually quite a bit is your Star Wars one. Mm. And like I see it everywhere, and like people are like, "Who is this? Who is this?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's Taylor Davis." Some people are like, "You know?" I was like, "Yeah, no, she's great." And they're like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yeah." You know, so like that actually gets passed around a lot because you are in costume, you got the lightsabers and stuff. So a lot of people are like, "That's awesome." And I was like, "Yeah." So yeah, it, like it's not even just like your YouTube's like gifts and memes and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so. You and a few of your other lovely people have made classical music fun to hear and play in this new digital era. What does it mean for you to have people take up instruments thanks to your work? Oh wow! Well, like that's definitely like one of the most rewarding things. Is um, anytime I hear like fan feedback that says that I inspired them in some way, in some positive way, whether it was to you know play the violin specifically or a different instrument, or um, a lot of people will tell me that they like to listen to my music when they're writing, or a lot of software engineers when they're coding and things like that. So anything that um, I can be doing that is like helping people in a positive way, that's like the number one like most rewarding part of what I'm doing. So I really, really you know appreciate hearing those things I mean I listen to it to go to sleep hey I like that too I mean any anything that helps people out like that's it's pretty amazing I feel very very fortunate that you know my music can have different effects on people like that <laughs> yeah, I listened to uh, your journey uh, album I love the journey stuff and uh, your Legend of Zelda stuff as always I always love listening to those ones uh, so there are there any upcoming projects you want fans to know about at this time hmm. Well, I think uh, we talked about the Disney album, so that's next, and uh, I was thinking about doing a Christmas album. I'm not sure if I can fit that in, because uh, my husband and I just moved from California to back to Michigan, where we're from. Last week, we did the three-and-a-half-day drive, so we've only been back here for about a week now, but um, yeah, so we have like a lot of stuff coming up with like getting a house and all that kind of stuff, so I'll see what I can fit in, but for sure, the Disney album will be coming, and then you know I'll keep posting my regular videos and all of that. <laughs> And now, is there any way for fans, obviously, to keep up with you online? And a final message for all your wonderful fans that are watching right now. Yeah, so, I mean, I have all the social media sites, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube, obviously. And then um, my website is taylordavisviolin.com. And I have a newsletter there. I don't write as often as I should. It's probably, like, once a month. But I'm trying to get to weekly. But, you know, no spam. Don't worry about that if you sign up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, just um, on all those social things, I'm active. I'm still the one responding if you see responses and say, yeah, that's that's me. So I love uh, interacting with people when I can. <laughs> and a message you want to get out to all your wonderful fans? Oh, just huge thank you for all of the support over the last seven years that I've been, you know, on YouTube and doing this. Because like for for sure, I would not be at you know conventions like this or having the opportunities to keep putting out albums and videos if people weren't supporting what I'm doing. So number one reason why I'm able to do this. So huge thank you to all of them. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming out and spending this time with us. Thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much again. It's yeah. great.